absolutely wild, guys. Oh my god. This is going to be an incredible journey. I can tell you that already. Just looking through there. Good morning, guys. From another day here in Japan. So today I plan to explore Shibuya and later tonight I would like to see the Shibuya crossing which is a famous thing you have to do here in Japan. I do want to do it closer to, to uh, nighttime though. It is around uh, 12 o'clock here, just past 12 o'clock here and uh, there is one thing that I have wanted to try for a long time here in Japan and I've not eaten today so I'm gonna go into the 7-Eleven and see if I can find an onigiri which is a like a special rice item rice with like fish okay, and I do I do see the onigiris so what do we want to go with so tuna salmon spicy pollock and roe oh beef I think we'll go red salmon and salt seems to be popular. I think we'll go with this one. Uh, 20 yen? Is that 20 yen? Wow, that is 20 yen. That is very cheap. Okay. You can also just get a rice ball here, which is interesting. This one has chicken, vegetables, and soy sauce. And let's just see what else is in here as well. You have like pork cutlet sandwiches, uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, burritos even. And yeah, what else do we have? Chili pork and miso rice ball, which is interesting. I am kind of interested to try this one. So I think maybe we'll also go with this. Yeah, okay. Also this uh, cream puff. Uh, yeah, let's do it guys, let's do it. Okay, for those curious, this is what I ended up getting. So two of these rice balls and one of these cream puffs for $3.40. So, pretty good. So let's see here, an onigiri, it has salmon and rice in it. So pull, so it says pull down, and then, there's like a special way to eat this. Okay, pull down. Mm. Typically, eating raw fish from a grocery store or from a convenience store is not on the to-do list, but in Japan it's different. Mm. Good. Salmon is my favorite fish. I don't eat fish a lot, but when I do, it's my favorite one. Okay, let's try this other one too. Okay, so this is chili pepper, pork, and misu. And you can see it's like also like a triangular rice ball here. So. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. All right, and the last item. Is this uh, cream puff here. Do you see how like bouncy the puff is? Mm. Oh yeah. It's like a pillow. As soon as you bite in, it just... Oh. I don't even know what flavor this is. Ah, melon whipped cream puff. Yeah, it does taste melony. 
Mm. Wow. It's like insanely good. All right, let's continue our day. Okay, back in this crazy metro. So let's figure out where we need to go. I might as well just ask somebody because usually I use maps, Google Maps, but I've been having some issues routing myself around Tokyo. It will take a minute for me to understand this. We're gonna take the uh, Yamamoto line here to uh, 14. I think I'm gonna go to Harajuku and check out a temple. I've not checked out a temple here yet. So, I believe this is the one we need to go to. Okay. Oh, this ride doesn't cost me anything because I have the JR pass. It's still it's still going, so um, I can afford to mess up here, <laughs> basically. For Harajuku, Shibuya, and Shingawa, so we're probably on the right path here. I'd like to see uh, Meiji Jinju, which is like a, uh, I think I'm saying that right, it's a uh, temple. So, yeah, let's just uh, see if we can get there. And, I don't know, we'll just follow the crowd here. But uh, here I am, and that's where I want to go. So I think we'll figure it out. Oh wow, guys. Maybe I'll just explore around here a bit. Yeah, I think we're just gonna explore around here a bit and then we'll go to the temple. Takashita, Takashita Street. Wow. It is uh, boiling right now, guys. I don't know the exact temperature, but I'm not sure what's going on down here, but we're gonna walk down here. It seems like there's a lot going on. Here's a Wolfgang Puck. It's a very expensive restaurant. <laughs> wow, this is this is uh, this is very cool. This is very this is, the, the whole experience so far. I think what I'm on 36 my 36th hour here in Japan. It's just been it's been incredible. Okay, we've got trinkets. Uh, here's the Meiji Jinju, I believe. And uh, you know I don't have a Japan patch yet. Maybe I'll find a patch. Oh, Let's so say you get kebabs and everything here. And this seems to be like a trinket store with kebabs, which is so interesting. Hello. I don't know, can you get your uh, palm read here, maybe? Palm reading? Palm reading? Uh, how much? Uh, some of you know this, some of you don't, but I'm a big fan of like uh, spirituality. And uh, I do want to do that. It was about 7,000 yen for a charm. I thought it was a reading. I thought it was more of a reading. So I don't know what you get with that. Maybe maybe I'll go back and get one. Looks like somebody left their wine in there. Okay, wow, this goes on for quite a while, guys. I'm glad that I decided to come this way first, before Shibuya. And uh, I don't know what's over here, but we've got crepes seem to be very popular. Wow, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. This day for me uh, will, I think, end in Shibuya, especially Shibuya Crossing. But again, I want to wait till it gets dark. And let's, let's do a time check here, guys. Let's do a time check. Okay, 120. We've got time. We've got lots of time. So. Oh. Let me see what is in here. Is this the park? Or is this indeed Meiji Jinju? Oh, this is some type of park. Togo Jinja Shrine. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, do you hear that sound? Uh, 
I've heard that sound many times. But never in person. Never in person. Oh my gosh. Koi fish, whoa. That is a massive fish. Look at this, hi guys. Hi buddies. Oh my gosh. Hi buddies. They're coming over to me. Oh my gosh. this wind chimes oh Mount Fuji I believe Fuji Fuji okay I need a water so it looks like 120 yen will get me there I'm collecting so many coins here in uh, Tokyo. That uh, nice size water bottle for less than a dollar. So, and you can find it like anywhere. So you don't even need to worry about waiting in a 7-Eleven, especially here where the queue in 7-Eleven is like 10 plus minutes. It's nice, it's nice. That looks very appetizing and I really want one but I'm holding out for right now. Okay, well some of you guys know I collect patches on the countries that I visit, and it looks like I can get a patch here. So perfect, I'll get my Japan patch here. All right, so here we are, uh, 400 yen, uh, which is $2.75, nice, nice price. So, got my Japan patch. So actually, I can easily get to Meiji Shrine, I believe, from here. Uh, the Google Maps originally routed me the wrong way, but I believe this is how we get here. Either way, there's a bridge that's a five minute walk from here that I want to check out, so we're going to check it out. Okay, folks, well, this is going to be an incredible journey. I can tell you that already. Just looking through there, it's absolutely incredible. I'm going to take a photo. I would ask you to please kindly subscribe to the channel. Less than 8% of you have subscribed, so if you watch my stuff regularly, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Thank you so much, and let's continue the video. Okay, so it looks like, so this is Meiji Jinju, and it looks like there is an information packet here. It's a Shrine of National Prayer for Peace and Prosperity. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so it has been a very warm day, very hot day, I would say, and just walking through this area covered by the trees here, has felt uh, very good. It feels uh, significantly cooler on this walking path. And yeah, let's see here. Another GoPro user just walked by. I smell uh, mosquito spray. Hoping I don't need it because I don't have it. <laughs> so yeah guys, this place is well equipped, right? So I've been walking down this pathway for a while here, for a bit. But you can see there's restrooms, there's even a restaurant, it's a cafe. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely put this on your list when you come here to Tokyo. Okay folks, well I've observed people coming here and washing their hands, so I think I will do that. Please purify yourself by water before going to the main sanctuary. sanctuary. Okay, this is really cool. This box is for old amulets. This is not a trash box. Okay. I don't have any old amulets to put in, but I purified my hands. I followed the instructions. I even rinsed my mouth, because that's what he said to do. Okay, Omikuju. Drawing an oracle in the form of Japanese traditional wax throne. In there. In there, and then I can take. Oh. Okay, so I put 100 yen in. Yes. And then shake. Shake, and then pick. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I think we will do this. Ok, 
Okay, so I got number one. And we'll take this one. Alright, let me try to read my fortune here. Before deities, even though they are unseen, we stand without shame when these human hearts of ours are filled with sincerity. Okay. I wonder if that's what the poem is. Either way, I will take Google Translate and try to understand this. That's cool. Okay, so I took a minute to use Google Translate on that fortune. It was very interesting. Something about invisible God or hidden gods and how I need to face them. But it also said, I need to get acupuncture. So, maybe we do that. But for now, we are here at this Meji Shrine. This is probably gonna be a long vlog, guys. We'll see. Please write down your prayers in a faithful spirit of respect and devotion. Please place a monetary offering inside the envelope along with your prayers. Okay, so let me uh, put this prayer in and then I will put some money in here and then I'm going to figure out where to place it. Okay, so here it is. And I do wonder what these are. They look very cool. Okay, we place it in here. Okay, I was wondering. Okay, so there we go. That was a cool experience. Okay, so right here is the main shrine right in front of me. You can't see it. It's I'm pointing right at it, but I can take photography. So I will put my camera down and yeah. Okay, well that was a really nice experience checking out the shrine, the Meiji Shrine, Meiji Jinju Shrine. And there is now another walkway over here. And I think I'm just gonna walk around here for a bit. All right, so basically you walk this way, you see the main uh, shrine, and then you loop around through a really nice forested area. You walk through, takes a bit, maybe five, 10 minutes or something, and then you're dumped right back out here to where you start. So that was a really nice, relaxing experience, and I can highly recommend it. All right, Harajuku Station. And this should be easy enough. I need to take the Yamamoto line down to Shibuya. Okay, so got my JR Pass ticket here. In. Bang. Okay, Yamamoto line. So we're gonna go to Shibuya. And I might just, it's about 3 p.m. I think I'll probably get a nice meal. Feeling uh, maybe yakitori or sushi. Probably not ramen on this hot day, but yakitori or sushi. And then I'm gonna wait around that area and get to see the uh, Shinjuku crossing. Confusing at first when I first came to Tokyo, but now it's easy. Okay, so this is uh, called Shibuya Scramble Square. And uh, I want a really nice place to get some like, uh, one of three things, sushi, yakitori, or chicken katsu. Okay, well I appear to be in the right place for food. Uh, the Shibuya Scramble seems to be all food. Now this is like smaller stuff. Seems like cakes and desserts, probably higher end stuff, you can get a donut here. Pinky jam donut looks good to me, but not right now. I need, uh, I want some chicken or something. I saw 12, uh, on the 12th and 13th floor, they're like sit down restaurants. So this is a pretty big place. This is floor one, spoiler alert. All right, 12F foodie scramble. So let's see what's here on 12F. Yakitori. Oh no guys, it's closed. So if I want this, I have to come back at five. Oh. Ah, that's shattered. Since the uh, Yakitori spot was not um, open, I found a conveyor belt sushi spot. And I've seen this online. I want to do conveyor belt sushi. So we're going to go do that. The, 
kind of has mixed reviews, but apparently it's affordably priced and you can get a good conveyor belt sushi experience there. So that's the plan. Okay, I've been walking for a while, got a little bit turned around here, but this is the floor that should have the sushi I'm looking for. Okay. I think I get a, an iPad or a tablet or something. Uh, touch menu? English menu? In English, yes, please. Okay, so I got three kinds of salmon and a tuna spring roll. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come out or what. I don't know. Okay, so sadly the conveyor belt is not on right now. But this, I believe, is tunas with uh, scallions. So here it is. Pretty new to sushi, but this is this is fantastic. Mm. Mm. Even better with soy sauce. There's like um, like a horseradish or like some type of mustard in here. Mm. Oh, it's yeah. Or no, wasabi. It's wasabi. Wasabi. Okay, now this one, I'm really stretching myself on, but it's uh, salmon, raw salmon. It's, uh, never had sushi like this. I don't know if this is sushi or sashimi. just ate at that sushi restaurant. It cost me 974 yen, which is $6.60. It's very cheap for sushi. Now, unfortunately, it did not come out on the conveyor belt like I thought it would. I don't know what was going on, but you get the idea. In other conveyor belt sushi restaurants, they'll serve your sushi on the conveyor belt. You got the setup. It is about uh, 4.15 right now, p.m., which means we have a bit more time till it gets dark. So I'm gonna hang out here and then see what we get into and then we'll see Shibuya Crossing. Okay, well I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I see Sweets Bakery wine. So let's check that out. You know, I've wanted to try a fruit sandwich for a long time. And I think that is one of them. Maybe it's time. I think I am indeed gonna get a fruit sandwich. Number one. I guess we have to go with the number one, huh? Okay, well, I'm quite excited to try this. I just don't know where I can sit uh, to, to eat this. I'm currently trying to find a spot to eat this. I don't know, I wanna just be respectful of like where I can and can I eat here. 
but I think I can eat it here. It says no smoking, it doesn't say no eating. So, no smoking, no skateboarding. We're good. Okay, so here's what it is. It's like, I guess, sandwich bread with three pieces of fruit and some cream in the middle. There's a, there's a shop in Tokyo, not this one, but there's a shop in Tokyo that like their fruit sandwich went viral on YouTube and TikTok, so that's where I found this. But the bread is like, you can't, I'm trying to, the bread is like very, uh, very spongy. Have you ever had an angel cake? Angel food cake? The bread is basically like angel fruit cake. Angel fruit cake. It's not like a traditional sandwich bread. Mm. Oh, this is so good. So I've been walking around Shibuya for a bit here. And there's a really highly reviewed matcha spot called The Matcha, Tokyo, I believe is what it's called. And it's at this place called Mitsi, uh, Mitsuyashi Park, I believe is how you say it. Second floor, there's a Louis Vuitton. We're gonna go in here and get a matcha. Look, more of the uh, fruit breads for sandwiches. Okay, this is what I'm looking for here. What is a, uh, oh man, what is like a very popular matcha? Matcha. Matcha latte? Uh, okay, I would do matcha latte. To go? Uh, to go, please. Nice or hot? Um, hot, please. Hot? Yeah. Ooh, we've got some uh, weird stuff going on with the lighting here, but you can see all the different matcha options. I asked her what the most popular one is, and she said matcha latte, so gotta go with the matcha latte. And it looks like they also have like cookies, which look very good. Ice cream also look very, very good. But I think I've already had too much dessert today. <laughs> so a latte is good enough. Okay guys, here it is. Ooh. It looks good. Oh. It is not too sweet, which is excellent. You can see they put the heart in it. Skilled barista. Mm. So I'll be real with you, I've never been a huge Disney fan, but that Disney store looks so freaking cool. Looks like a castle. I'm sure if you love Disney, that's a very popular place. But yeah, look at this Disney store. Obviously got the classic Disney look but the whole way up it looks like a uh, castle or a spire it's pretty cool all right so I found a Pokemon card actually two that are over four thousand dollars so six hundred thousand yen seven hundred thousand yen that's over four thousand US dollars for uh, one of those Pokemon cards <laughs> that is uh, pretty incredible Okay guys, we're at the uh, famous Shibuya Scramble, so let's just take a look at this, I do think I came at the right time. I think I can just walk through, like, in the middle here. Wow. This is wild. 
It's absolutely wild, guys. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. I think I'm going the wrong way. Alright, I'm just gonna go. I'm probably gonna do it a few times. Wow, this is crazy. Wow. Yeah, I think I'll just do it a few times. Because that was cool. Let's see what's in here. Okay, I've been walking around Shibuya like all afternoon and I somehow missed this. This is so cool guys. Okay, so I think like 48 hours here, maybe I don't know. I don't even remember. This is this is day number three for me here in Tokyo. And Tokyo is officially cooler at night. It is uh, very safe at night, unlike other cities of its size. Well, it's the biggest city. But um, it's safe at night, it's clean, it's modern, and it really comes alive at night. You know, during the day, it's a little, uh, it's not that it's boring. It's just, you have to experience Tokyo at night. There's nothing like it. Look at this. Yeah, so I don't always film my videos at night, but here in Tokyo. I've been wanting to do that. Guys, there's somewhere around here where I can get one of those 10 yen pancakes, which is like a big mozzarella pancake thing. And uh, it says it's supposed to be around here, but all I see is a Don Quixote. So maybe I'm missing something. Don Quixotes are just the absolute best. Ah, I think it's over here. Yes, it is. Okay, I will wait. I usually don't like waiting, but I'm gonna wait for this. There it is. Oh, smells like it. Mm. My ticket here, 500 yen. Very cheap. So interesting. You buy a ticket, get your pancake. This guy's very friendly and very helpful. I was queuing up, and he said he saw I didn't have a ticket, and then helped me. Okay, got a front row seat here. Sadly, there's music playing. I see there's another store down there as well. It seems like. So I'm glad that I was able to come to this one. Oh, it looks like there are different types. I want the cheese one though. Okay, I got to go Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna give this a shot as soon as it uh, cools down. All right. Well, I'm not sure where I should eat this. I'd like to sit down and eat somewhere. That way I can get the cheese pool for you all. But, um, hold on. Oh, that is so interesting. That is so incredibly interesting. 
So it's like a sweet pancake. I wasn't expecting the pancake to be sweet. But alas, it is. I would say, this is a pretty good snack. You kind of have to get through some sweet pancake before you get to the mozzarella. Mm. Now that's the cheese bowl I was looking for. You guys are gonna unsubscribe. This is weird, I know. Oh. But I love a cheese bowl. Mm. I would say, this is really unique and you should try it. All right guys, well thank you for coming along with me on this video. I had an incredible day here in Tokyo. Uh, just over here in uh, Kabuchigo for another video. Uh, there's the famous Godzilla head that I'll be filming. So thank you so much for being here and I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.